Hi there. Welcome back to another interesting video where we will talk about the history of momentum investing. In this chapter, we'll take a look at how this investment strategy came to be, how it works, some of the notable moments in history, and the benefits of momentum investing. But first, let's talk about why momentum investing is so popular. Well, momentum investing is all about following the trend. It's like surfing the wave of stock market. The idea is that if a stock has been performing well in the recent past, it is likely to continue doing so in the future. And vice versa, if a stock has been underperforming, it is likely to continue doing so. This strategy has become increasingly popular because it is easy to understand and can be applied to a wide range of markets. It is said that momentum is one of Wall Street's oldest investment strategies. The idea of momentum investing goes back to the 19th century when British statistician Francis Galton observed that certain stocks tended to outperform the rest of the market. But it wasn't until the 1990s that momentum investing really took off. Researchers started to publish papers showing that the strategy could be used to generate significant returns. The basic idea behind momentum investing is that investors should buy stocks that have been performing well in the recent past and sell stocks that have been underperforming. The strategy is based on the assumption that the stock market is not entirely efficient and that the prices can be influenced by psychological factors such as herd behavior and overconfidence. Momentum investing can be applied to a wide range of markets, including stocks, bonds and commodities. It can also be used in both developed and emerging markets. However, the strategy works best in markets that are not entirely efficient, where prices can be influenced by psychological factors. Let's take a look at the step-by-step -step history of momentum investing. In 1838, James Grant released Volume 2 of The Great Metropolis, in which he discussed the achievements of David Ricardo, a renowned English political economist who actively participated in the London markets during the late 1700s and early 1800s. Ricardo reportedly accumulated a significant fortune through his trading of bonds and stocks. Grant stated that Ricardo's success could be attributed to three valuable principles. These were never refuse an option, when you can get it, Cut short your losses, let your profits run on. Following in Ricardo's footsteps were some of Wall Street's greatest legends who implemented momentum and trend-following techniques. In the late 1800s, Charles H. Doe founded the Wall Street Journal and co-founded Doe Jones & Company. In his Wall Street Journal column, he published his market trend analysis, which eventually developed into a body of research called Doe Theory. Doe theory primarily focuses on the identification of trends as being the key signals for investing. In the early 1900s, Jesse Levermore was a stock market speculator who famously made and subsequently lost two massive fortunes during the market panic of 1907 and the crash of 1929. Levermore claimed that his lack of adherence to his own rules was the main reason he lost his wealth. Around the same time, Richard Wyckoff noted that stocks tended to trend together. Thus, he focused on entering long positions only when the broad market was trending up. When the market was in decline, he focused on shorting. He also emphasized the placement of stop losses to help control risk. He was personally so successful with his techniques, he eventually owned 9.5 acres in the Hamptons. Starting in the 1930s, George Chestnut successfully ran the American Investors Fund for nearly 30 years using relative strength techniques. He also published market letters with stock and industry group rankings based on his methods. In the late 1940s and early 1950s, Richard Donshian developed a rules-based technical system that became the foundation for his firm, Futures Inc. Futures Inc. was one of the first publicly held commodity funds. The investment philosophy was based upon Donshian's belief that commodity prices moved in long, sweeping bull and bear markets. Using moving averages, Donshian built one of the first systematic trend-following methods earning him the title of the father of the trend following. In the late 1950s, Nicholas Darbus, trained economist and touring dancer, invented box theory. He modeled stock prices as a series of boxes. If a stock price remained in a box, he waited. As a stock price broke out of a box to new heights, he bought and placed a tight stop loss. Also during the 1950s and 1960s was Jack Dreyfus, who Barron's named the second most significant money manager of the last century. From 1953 to 1964, his Trifus fund returned 604% compared to 346% for the Doe Index. Studies performed by William O'Neill showed that Trifus tended to buy stocks making new 52-week heights. It wouldn't be until 2004 that academic studies would confirm this method of investing. During the 1980s, Richard Trifus 
took the momentum torch. In his interview in Jack Swagger's The New Market Wizards, he said he believed that money was made buying high and selling higher. In 1997, Asnes Liu and Stevens demonstrated the profitability of momentum investing for country indices. Kahat also published a study in the same year which revealed that portfolios of mutual funds constructed by sorting on trailing one-year returns exhibit momentum expectations, leading to a decrease in monthly excess return. Moving to 1998, Robin Hood study covered international equity markets and found that stocks in Austria, Belgium, Denmark, France, Germany, Italy, the Netherlands, Norway, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland and the United Kingdom exhibit medium-term return continuations. Lee Barron's research in 1999 revealed that a simple momentum model created unusually large profits in foreign exchange cities. In the same year, Moskowitz and Grinbold found strong and persistent industry momentum effects. Robin Hood's 1999 study focused on 1,700 firms across 20 countries and demonstrated that emerging market stocks exhibit momentum. Liu and Vasilou's 2000 study revealed that momentum returns are significantly positive in foreign developed countries, but there is little evidence to explain them by economic developments. Griffin, G and Martin 2003 study found that momentum's robustness is reliable in periods of both negative and positive economic growth. The study finds no evidence for macroeconomic or risk-based explanations to momentum returns. Moving to 2006, Herb and Harvey showed evidence of success for momentum investing in commodity futures. Gotten, Hayashi and Rovenhorst in 2008 extended momentum research on commodities, confirming its existence in futures, but also identifying its existence in spot prices. Finally, in 2012, Jostova, Niklova, Filipov and Stahel demonstrated that momentum profits are significant for non-investment grade corporate bonds. Liu and Yu study identified that for liquid fixed income assets, such as government bonds, momentum strategies may provide a good risk-return trade-off and a hedge for credit exposure. 2009 to 2019, momentum investing experienced a resurgence with momentum strategies outperforming the broader market over this period. In particular, momentum strategies that focus on large-cap technology stocks perform well, thanks in part to the growth of companies such as Apple, Amazon, and Facebook. 2020, Momentum strategies experienced a significant reversal during the COVID-19 pandemic as many of the stocks that had been driving momentum strategies experienced sharp declines. This is in part due to the fact that many momentum stocks are in sectors such as technology and healthcare which are hit hard by the pandemic. However, momentum strategies have since rebounded along with the broader market. Now let's talk about momentum investing in India. While momentum investing has been around for a while, it is a relatively new concept in India. However, over the last few years, momentum investing has gained popularity among Indian investors. One of the reasons for this is the growth of the Indian stock market. Over the last decade, the Indian stock market has seen significant growth and this has created opportunities for momentum investors. Many investors have been able to generate significant returns by following the momentum strategy in the Indian stock market. Another reason for the popularity of momentum investing in India is the ease of access to data. With the growth of technology, Indian investors now have access to real-time data and sophisticated analytics tools that make it easier to identify trends and patterns in the market. However, there are some challenges to momentum investing in India. One of the biggest challenges is the lack of liquidity in some stocks. This can make it difficult to enter and exit positions, especially if the position is large. Another challenge is the regulatory environment, which can be unpredictable at times. Despite these challenges, momentum investing has become an increasingly popular strategy among Indian investors. Many investors have been able to generate significant returns by following the momentum strategy in the Indian stock market. Momentum investing can be a great way for investors to make serious gains over the long term. The strategy has shown to be effective in generating strong returns and beating the market over the past few decades. One of the reasons momentum investing works so well is that it takes advantage of market trends. By investing in stocks that have been performing well recently, momentum investors can ride the way of momentum to significant gains. Another big benefit of momentum investing is that it can help to reduce risk. 
While it does come with some risk, momentum investing can be less risky than other strategies because momentum stocks tend to be larger and more stable. Plus, momentum investing can help to diversify your portfolio by investing in stocks across different sectors and industries. If you're not a fan of active trading, momentum investing can be a great option for you. The strategy involves buying and holding onto stocks for extended periods of time rather than frequently trading. This can be a good option for those who don't have the time or expertise to engage in active trading. Finally, momentum investing can give you a sense of confidence and security when it comes to your investments. By following a well-defined strategy and investing in stocks that have a proven track record of success, momentum investors can feel more confident in their investment decisions. This can help to reduce stress and anxiety associated with investing and can lead to better long-term results. So there you have it. Momentum investing can be a great way to build wealth over the long term. Just make sure you do your research and understand the risks involved before investing in momentum stocks. But with its proven track record of success, momentum investing is definitely worth considering for any investor looking to grow their portfolio. And that brings us to the end of this video on the history of momentum investing. We've seen how momentum investing has grown over the years, how it works, and some of the notable moments in its history. While momentum investing is not without its challenges, it has become an increasingly popular strategy among investors around the world. If you're interested in momentum investing, it's important to do your research and understand the risks involved. As with any investment strategy, there are no guarantees of success, but momentum investing has shown to be an effective strategy for many investors. If you'd like to explore more, take a look at the right portfolios on our website www.rightresearch.in. We hope you enjoyed learning about the history of momentum investing. If you have any questions, you can refer to our FAQs on the website or even drop a comment down below. We'll reply to all comments as soon as possible. Do not forget to like this video and subscribe to the Right YouTube channel. We will be back with many more such interesting insights and reviews. Till then, click on the bell icon below to stay tuned for more such Right updates and happy investing.